What's good? Thank you so much for uh, letting me be a part of this. It's of course, really thanks for coming out, Carissa. We appreciate you coming out. Yeah, you know, we just want to bring in communi uh, community together all over the nation. And here you are from Poland. Yeah, oh, I'm really one. excited to get to know more of the artists in Seattle. Um, and I want to branch out and get to know more of the Seattle artists and like come yeah. down here and represent mm -hmm. the Pacific Northwest as a whole. Um, yeah. And you're, you not only did that, but now you're expanding to the whole country, right? Yeah, that's the, so that's were, the plan. So you were in Atlanta, you're going to be in Portland, we're, we're in Seattle now. Uh, and you're also going to be in the Tri-Cities, which is... Thanks. Kind of my hometown, I guess. Tri Cities, call man. Kind of you already know the vibes, man. Yes, sir. And uh, not a lot of uh, shows come through to the Tri Cities, and Walla Walla is actually where I grew up. But what uh, what made you go to Tri Cities? Do you like have a fan well, base there? Or Tri Cities artists? is where I'm actually based, so it's okay. like this is actually like a show that's not even in our, our our main area. This is just like a sub city that we come to out here in Seattle. But yeah, okay. man, we love doing Tri Cities. They always show good energy, and it's cool that you're from out that that way too because. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's where it all started. Yeah, how long have you, uh, so you're, you're living in Seattle now? No, I just travel here. I live in Tri-Cities. So what do you, what could you say about the Tri-Cities music scene? Say again? What can you say about the Tri-Cities music scene? I can say that the scene is definitely developing, but there's so much talent there and it's like, yeah. there's not a lot of opportunities. So I always do my best to consistently come there and just provide something there for the scene. So every time I do a tour or do a circuit of events, I'll always try to include Tri-Cities because that, they need a they need a platform to showcase their talent. I mean, a lot of people don't even know that Tri Cities exist. Like, if you talk to people in Portland, of course they know. But if you were like in Florida, people wouldn't know what Kennewick, Washington was. You no. know, you just say like it's a small town in Washington. Yeah. So not only is the city not well known, but there's a lot of talent there uh, that people don't know about. So that's really amazing that you're you're lifting these people up, these artists up. And giving them a platform yeah. and uh, you know spreading their music around the U.S. The Storm Tour too. It's the se your second tour. Yeah, the second tour this year that that we uh, that okay. we're, that we've been on this year. And uh, yeah. So how do you pick your artists? You pick artists from kind of the, uh, different cities around the U.S. or so all your all your homies or how do you I, how do you choose people I, to I, be on I, your? I already film? had a following of people that just listen to my music because at before I was doing events I was an artist and I still am an artist over everything, but. I had listeners that was tapping in with me, hey, you should come out here and do shows. So yeah. partially, I guess you could say, some of the people that we choose for shows are people that were listeners of mine before, and okay. some are people we've chosen from those listeners. And then uh, we also have uh, a team that looks out for upcoming talent in the area. And uh, we look at who's doing events actively, and we go from those artists. So if you're an artist and you're doing events consistently, we'll see you eventually when we come out to your area. Yeah, reach out to Lebo, Lebo Tracks hey, on Instagram. Here. Where, where else can we find you? Are you on like Facebook? How can we find you across the platforms? Yeah, I'm on all platforms at Lebo Tracks, man. L E E B O T R A C K S. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Snap he said he's going to teach me how to use Pornhub. 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 He's going to teach me how to use Snapchat because I know that it's a, yeah. you know, it's beneficial to get stuff out there, but I don't even know how to use it. So, hey, we, we got to tap first. Help me. Help me. I need to tap in. Yeah. But anyway, so. Storm Tour Tour. Storm Tour 2. Can you can you tell us a little bit about that? Like how it started and yeah. you know, kind of go into detail so a little bit about that? The Storm Tour series started because after the quarantine and the coronavirus happened, it shut us down from doing events in Washington State because our laws are so much more strict than you know East Coast and Southern East States. So sure. I moved over into the East to do events to keep my momentum going. And then, you know, that's what I was like, man, we can do it here. Let's go try it over there. And then that opened up my mind and just like allowed me to continue to try different cities. So you weren't, there weren't enough um, tours and everything. So you said, hey, I might as well just start this myself yeah. kind of a thing. Okay. Yeah. And, and yeah. Miami was the first city that we tried that was across the, the um, states. And then from Miami, we just started doing a ton of different states from there. All right. And what, were your shows pretty successful from the beginning or... Did it take a little bit to like gain your community and your like some traction or? I would say they were like successful to the point where it's like we had turnouts, but not successful financially. We were having sure, a yeah, great that's time. A, that's a hard part. And we were seeing people come out, but the supporters weren't there. But we realized that if you want the people to come out, they kind of got to get more comfortable and more 
you know, they need to see you in that community actually helping out. And yeah. we've been seeing a lot more better, uh, you know, re retention over the last few months. If you interact with your community, and build these relationships and these connections, they're more exactly. likely to come to your shows. 100%. And to support you because they feel like they're a part of it. And I feel like that's really what you're really doing with your tour and the shows Thank that you. you throw. So, um, so far I'm having fun. This is my first show that I've been to of yours. Hey, um, and shout like, out Carissa Daz, man, for coming out here to the Storm Thank Tour, you. man. All the artists have just been, that I've talked to have been really cool. Um, the music is amazing so far. So okay, um, if you're if you're in the Tri Cities, if you're in Portland, um, follow Lebo Tracks and come to one of his shows. Come Dang. support, uh, come support smaller artists, bigger artists. Um, yeah, let's let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, shout out to the people, man. Shout out Chris Adez. Shout out to everybody that's you know. Shout out to everybody that's you know here supporting us and uh, have been here consistently. We just want to continue to consistently be a, a part of the community and provide you guys a safe place to come and showcase your art, vendors, creatives, podcast personnel, anybody that just has a position in this. We're here for you. Eternal's the brand. Eternal's the label. We're going crazy, Eternal. man. Eternal Tour Records. Two. Shout out. Thank you. Right, thank you so much for talking with me, and I'll, I'll see you around. I yeah. mean, I'll be here all night. I'm Chris Adez. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, Audio good. CN. Audio CN, okay. You said that these are your artists over here. What does that mean? Yeah, these are my artists. So I manage artists. These are artists. your sons? Yeah, something like that. My young prodigies, you know, I'm, I'm building them up to be something great. All right, all right. Um, so you're you're managing them? You own a management yes. company? Okay, how does, how does that work? Do you have like a... Um, you have a studio or something? I got it all. I got a studio. I got a video production team. You know, I'm, I'm bringing out a lot of celebrities. Stink team, Rafi the Plug in December, Swifty Blue next Saturday. I'm just, I'm tapped in with a lot of venues and business owners and okay. we, we put a lot of stuff together. Um, do you mainly do shows in Seattle, the Seattle area, or do you kind of travel the Seattle, US? Portland, California for right now, just kind of like Northwest Coast. You know, okay. But we're trying to expand to the East Coast and, you know, yeah. Midwest. What, what motivated you to start a company, to start a management company? Honestly, there's so many top, so much talent in Seattle and not everybody's getting seen or heard, you know? Yeah, that's what we were doing and I were just talking about. There's not enough representation. Um, there's not enough people boosting each other up. So, exactly. um, you know, that's great that you're doing that for the community. So, um, are you just working with Lebo Tracks for this show, or are you kind of working more on his tour with them? Um, I'm not working on a tour with them. You know, we got some other stuff in the works, me and Lebo, but you know, I just I got a lot of clothes for sale. Get a real job. You know, we got a table on the Is back. Is that the name of your company? Yeah. Get a real job. Okay. Me, me and my brother right here, Buzzkill. Buzzkill. You see, we're all. Yo, what's we're up, all, Buzzkill? We all be rocking guard, and you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Let me see. Out oh, this. Get a real if job. If you don't have one, go get one. You heard it here. Where Come can on. we find your your clothes? That you. Decide? Well, you you get us. We can reach out to us on Instagram. Get a real job. Or you can come to one of the shows and come get them. Yeah, you got to go to the shows to get the special edition shit. Everything's one of one, too. So you're never going to find nobody with the same hoodie. Oh, wow. Or shirt. Okay. Okay. And you design everything? Yep, everything. Nice. One of one. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about the uh, Seattle music scene? The Seattle music scene, honestly, is diverse. It's not even Seattle no more. We got every... In this building... Probably half of us are from Seattle. You know what I'm saying? So okay. honestly, everybody just we can't be acting like celebrities. It don't matter if you got ten thousand followers or ten followers. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, we're artists. Bitch, be humble. So how do you pick artists that you're gonna work with? So basically, it's all about who has drive, who shows up. It was so nice meeting you. It was nice um, meeting you too. Yeah. And do, so, do you make music yourself? Yeah, I make music myself too. Okay. I'm, I'm probably not gonna perform tonight because it's not it's not always about me. And you know, I got a way like with talking to people and getting them to see my shit. So I don't gotta really press it. You know what I mean? Yeah. My big thing is just getting my artists heard. You know, and getting their followers up. You're tapped in with your boy Audio C, and this is a takeover. Matter of fact, watch out. No. Go for it. Take it over. Thank you so much. This is Thirty God over here. Is that what you go by? Yes, yeah, Thirty God. You can call me Thirty God. I like your hat. It's, it's multiple names. It's multiple things. <laughs> So you 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 own your own clothing brand, right? You're yeah. on tour with uh, with Lebo for uh, Storm Tour Two. 
What's good? I'm doing good. You know, it's been a dope night. How are you? I'm doing great. It was a fun night. I'm tired. I watched a lot of music, got some secondhand smoke, um, did a lot of interviews. Doped out. You know? Um, so you are 30, 30 God. God. And you have your own clothing brand. And you were standing right here next to me. I saw you. Everybody was proud at your, um, your table. So I think you sold a lot of stuff. Yeah, we did pretty good. You know, we were both buddies tonight. Mm-hmm. Doing it good. Yeah, what I do is uh, I make custom handmade garments um, straight out of just like upcycled things or whatever I can put my my hands on. So I've been doing that for like about seven years and then also upgrade uh, mm-hmm. underneath the storm tool. I've been doing that for about like two or three years now. So. So you've been making your clothes for two or three years, and then um, I've been doing. I've been oh, doing clothes been for like seven for years. years. Yeah, I've been doing clothes okay. for like seven years. But I've been doing the storm for like two years. It's been a great experience for sure. Wow. Um. So how did you get into it? I didn't realize that it's been going on for that long. The storm tour. We uh, me and Libo linked up. Kind of in the local city. We're both kind of from the same area, of Washington. And uh, oh, you're from the Tri Cities too. Yeah. Okay. Pops is out there. I stay in Seattle. Yeah. Pops out there, so we linked up, and mm-hmm. he's been doing music. I've been doing the clothes. It's kind of works out. We mm-hmm. built a team. Just fucking really went for it. I wish there was a better way to explain it, but we really just went for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's great when you meet somebody. Like for me, it's, I meet somebody I know that I'm gonna like collaborate well with them. Like I, I don't know what we're gonna do together. But we have to like get a project going and work together because you just you can feel that vibe, you know. So is it kind of was it kind of like that with him when you first met him? Yeah, all right. it's all about the energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Nobody we work with has bad energy. Like I can say, you know, the teams like Astro Libo, Tokyo, um, Cash is on the team. There's all those guys like right they're real positive people, all dope artists, and we know what the goal is to you know, push each other. It's like it's really like a basketball team. Yeah. You know, I can't really, it's hard for me to hang out with people who don't have big goals or dreams and who aren't motivated because that's, that's the type of person I, who I am, like, or else I just feel stagnant, you know, so it, you, you have to keep those people around you. I think if you're a creative, or else you don't get shit. That's wow. You got the battery energized. Mm-hmm. It will be draining you, try to put you in normal positions or... I'm trying to make you think you're a normal person, which you feel me, you're not. If you're an artist, I don't think you're a normal person. That's just my opinion. Yeah, you're, you're doing weird, the most. The good weird. Right, the good weird. Yeah, <laughs> not bad, but good weird. Yeah, so what do you think about the um, piano music scene? How is it different from the Tri Cities music scene? I think it's yeah, a lot different. It is a lot different. Tri Cities, mm-hmm. there's a uh, a lot of good artists, but not a lot of like things going on. So we go to Tri Cities, it's boom, everybody's there. I mean, Seattle, it's pretty much like that too. But people are kind of resilient to new things. They like the artists that they've seen again and again. But and we were just talking about Salt Lake City. You said that they really um, are very supportive, and they like a lot of people come out for your shows there. And that was that was um, strange to hear to you know for me because you know I just think of it as like this religious place where there's not any hip hop music or anything. Right. So. Right. Um, but you were saying that since there's not a whole lot of uh, hip hop and like that type of music out there, they really come out for your shows because they're like, I mean, they probably have a lot of, they, they know that that music's out there, but they probably don't get a lot of artists who come through and like do shows. They're like thirsty. That. They're thirsty for the culture. They're thirsty for the culture. So, yeah, Salt Lake was, I thought it was going to be a bunch of Mormons too. Like, no offense to Mormons, but it's boring, you know real laid back but they came out it was like 300 people tough and mm-hmm. we got mad love and i noticed like they do a lot of different things like there's this big sneaker and vintage community out there mm-hmm. which i didn't realize seattle's okay. kind of the same yeah but they're they're with the shits they're with and the sneaker shits. and vintage yeah you said? okay sneaker and vintage they love shoes and they love vintage clothes and jello and jello, <laughs> and jello. <laughs> they love jello. Oh, they love okay jello. I, I love jello too so maybe you know i feel like i would get along <laughs> yeah let's go let's go um yeah i'd love to work with you guys more i had a great time like i said the music i love all the artists were friendly and nice and, and you know everybody i interviewed a lot of people tonight and everybody was really cool and nice like everybody was very positive and the energy was just good all around so i really appreciate you guys doing what you're doing and um you know bringing up the, the community and the artists in each city because um like a lot of times artists will come through city it'll just be there the same you know two artists or whatever um that go on tour but you guys make a point to include a lot of local artists too and i think that's so much better for um 
than just, you know, going and doing a show and networking because you're actually, like, interacting with the community more when, you're, when you have those artists on your bill. And then you're making these connections between the Tri-Cities and then wherever else you're going. So it's just like, the, it's like a web of, of uh, music artists. And I think that's, I don't know, I just think that's really cool. I'm, about that. you know, I'm glad that you, you know, it sounds like you see the vision. You might need to get on the team. I ain't put you on the team. Right? Hey. That's really, you know, that's what the goal is, is just creating this big network of people that do dope shit. Mm-hmm. And we can all get together and do dope shit together. Yeah. It works out. Right? Motivate each other to do more dope shit. Well, yeah, that's, that's, what the that's what the Storm Tour is. Motivate people <laughs> to do more dope shit. That's what Storm Tour is. Uh, I love that. To, to put it, yeah, in a nutshell, that's what it is. <laughs> um, I just want to say, I also like your hat, and that's one of the designs. Yeah, this is a custom right here. Um, basically, if you guys need to find my work, you can look me up at 30 Plus Clothing on IG, uh, 30 Plus Events for the event work. If you want to join the Storm Tour, you can get uh, those DMs, and we'll get you set up. And hopefully, you'll be here doing another interview with us. I'm kicking it. Five this could this could be you doing an interview with me at, at a, on the storm tour. Right, you know you want to be here. Don't play. <laughs> you know you want to be here. So this is what it's Don't miss like. out. Don't miss out on the tour and the movement. Okay. That's facts. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me. Yes. Uh, is there anything else that you have coming up that you want to just say real quick? Um, right now we got a Something date in Portland. So we're gonna be your hometown like December seventeenth. Um, other than that, you know, I'm just tapping with me. Everything I do is gonna be brand new. I was coming out with new jackets, new shirts, and stuff. So keep up and. Mm-hmm. You know, the storm continues. That's what we do. So. Storm continues. Let it rain. Let it rain. Yeah, 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 yeah.